it's Ron Howard, your buddy pal from Extreme Sequences, bringing you a tutorial. I thought I had done this tutorial, but apparently I had not. And I've got all these folks reaching out to me saying, Ron, how do I use these effect packs, the variety and the mega tree and all that good stuff? And I looked all through my library of tutorials and I didn't really find anything specific to this. So I guess we better do one. So you just bought one of these variety effects packs. It's your first year, you're trying to figure out how am I gonna use this in my sequencing? Well, first thing you need to know is that inside of this, after you unzip it, what you need to do is there are these files called X preset files. These are not sequences, these are preset effects. That's what it says in the description. So these are what you want to import into X lights. So with X lights open, it's not like you would go up here and import effects. I know intuitively that's what you do. That's what I would do if I didn't know any better. But because it's not intuitive, you need to right click and figure out where you're going to put these. So you would right click and go to your effects presets. And then you would import the effects presets by clicking on the import button. And then we go to our desktop. And we find that variety effects folder and you could pick one or all. Let's just pick all. And then we would say, okay, open. Now this is going to take a little bit of time here because we have to wait for this to do all this generate effect preview stuff. Um, in my mind, it'd be faster not to have this and just put the effect on the background. It'd be 10 times faster to see what you're going to get uh, than waiting for this, but that's okay. We've got all the time in the world. Good thing we don't have many going in here. But this would be a good time to go get that coffee or some tea if you're in Europe. You know the Europeans do also drink coffee, so don't, don't let them fool you. Anyway, here we are. You can click on each one of these and see what they do. And some of these are marked with what they are. Small tree, matrix, large mega tree, star topper. Doesn't really matter. You could apply these on just about anything. And, and don't go on this view here. The view really should be, uh, I think it needs to be enhanced to work better with maybe a matrix or a mega tree because it's really hard to see what it does in here. The other thing I wanna share with you is you can organize these. Now, it's sort of a hot mess right now and how this works, but I'm gonna do my best to at least show you how to get it done. You would click on um, add group. Let's just call this matrix. And now we have a matrix group at the bottom. And so what we can do is we can go find a matrix effect like this guy, drag it down and drop it on there. And that's your matrix group. Uh, if we do it again, what I suggest you do for now is just click somewhere out of there and then find another matrix, drag it down and drop it on there. Okay. Let's create another group, add group. Let's call this one mega tree. Beautiful. Click somewhere else, find a mega tree effect, drag it down, drop it. Drop, click somewhere else. Let's find that star topper, this one for sure. And drop it. All right. Well, it's working out so much better for me this time. Maybe there was a glitch the last time I was trying to do this, uh, which was about 10 minutes ago. All right, once you have your groups, you're good to go. When you have the effect you want to place on the timeline, uh, you can just click apply preset. Do not click okay. You click on a preset and click okay, you're just shutting down the window. Okay, we don't, we don't wanna do that. So here, this tells me this effect for Megatree is Candyland. It's 18,000 milliseconds. Uh, it takes three layers what you see here this first number after the bracket is the number of required layers so if we go to our mega tree and we right click insert multiple layers two is a default there's my three layers find out where you want to put this select this see i'm going to put it here this is the effect preset i want apply preset and bada boom bada bang there it is and then there's a second part and there's a third part. Some of these have multiple effects in them. So let's do this again. 
Let's go find a matrix. Fantastic, P10. This is going to take three layers as well. So we will make sure that we have at least three layers. I will put this somewhere and make sure this is selected and apply preset. Fantastic, and here's our new preset. Cool, cool, cool. I like it. And as you can see, um, the mega tree doesn't quite look like what it's supposed to. So this is Candyland over here on the right. This is what the effect looks like on the tree. So it does as good a job as it can for the time being, but don't rely on this. Just drop it in here. Also, don't forget about the whole house effects. You can put stuff on here. Uh, let's put that same, mm, oh, you know what, let's go with glory. I have no idea what this is. No, yeah, why not? And apply preset. And now we have a whole house effect doing something that just looks terrible. Looks terrible. Don't do that one. Let's just go with, <laughs> oh, crawl. Yes. I think that's a good idea. So crawl, apply preset. Oh, that is really spiffy. I'm liking it. Anyway, folks, uh, I hope this has been helpful. Again, you want to import the presets, then you can use them, okay? It also works the other way around. If you create this really cool preset that you just love, and there it is. Oh, that is something, yeah. There we go, we'll give it a couple more bars. Yeah. You can right click on that effect, effects presets, and we can say new preset. But before you do that, if it's a whole house, why don't we just create a group called whole house and then click on whole house, new preset, and let's call this spiral madness and click okay. And now we have Spiral Madness on here. So if I go back over here, delete my Spiral Madness, put a spot back in here, click on Spiral Madness in the Effects Presets window, Apply Preset, there it is. That's all I got for you. Have a great day. See you soon.